If you notice, when we first started playing, Peter was playing the melody. Now, instead of me combing the same melody with him, I played something a little different. I played off of what he was playing. So he's playing de, bu, de, bu, bu, be, do, be, do, de, bu, bu, do, be. So instead of me going, I played something a little different. So I, I played a counter today. I said, What you'll notice, what you'll notice, a lot of times actually when we play the bossa, we'll we'll lean a little bit on the two and the four usually. Mm. Mm, a little bit of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, it's not, uh, you know, it's just a slight on the two and four. One, two. Uh. So, you know, we're playing this one finger snap, fast tempo, um, modal jazz, modern jazz, all this stuff. The groove is still very important, but now the trust factor, I think, between everybody in the trio has to go to that next level. Because when you're playing fast and you're playing modern, um, there's a lot of notes going by that everybody's playing that you don't really know exactly what's happening. It's not like a ballad or a, a nice relaxed bossa nova or medium blues where you can kind of hear everything. Everything's sort of flying around. It's a little bit crazy, but you've got to have still that feeling of the form. It's so important. It's not less important. A lot of people think with you know rhythm sections, well, you can just kind of go crazy. What happens is if you do that and you let go of the form, then the soloists uh, don't have anything to hold on to. They can't be free. And ultimately, our job is to make the soloists, you know, in this case, the piano and then the drums, but then if we have horn players or whatever, they have to be able to feel free over this really fast tempo that we've got the form together. So that becomes the most important thing. Oh. 